Hey there! Welcome back to the Noctis on YouTube. In 1978, the world witnessed this photo. This photo was very famous at the time. No, it's not a giant whale seen on the surface of the ocean. It's a massive oil tanker stranded on the coast of Brittany, France. This giant ship caused the largest environmental disaster ever due to the spillage of 1.6 million barrels of crude oil into the sea. Let's delve deeper into the tragedy of the Amoco Cadiz and some other oil-related global disasters. And this is the largest oil spill tragedy in the world. Amoco Cadiz On March 16, 1978, the world witnessed one of the largest environmental disasters ever caused by an oil spill from a tanker. The Amoco Cadiz, a crude oil carrier flying the Liberian flag and owned by the Amoco Corporation, ran aground on the coast of Brittany, France, and spilled more than 68 million gallons of oil into the sea, damaging the coastal and marine ecosystems. The Amoco Cadiz was a giant supertanker that first entered service in 1975, with massive dimensions. It was 334 meters long and 51 meters wide, with a carrying capacity of over 200,000 tons of crude oil in a single trip. At the time of the incident, the ship was transporting 1.6 million barrels of crude oil from the Middle East to Europe. The journey of the Amoco Cadiz ended tragically when the ship was hit by a storm in the English Channel between England and France. The storm damaged the steering system and various other parts. The rapid sequence of events and extremely bad weather at the time made it impossible to control the ship and it crashed onto the rocky coast near Portsal, France. Efforts to pull the ship away from the shore by a German tugboat failed and the ship eventually sank after breaking into three parts. The unsuccessful attempt to save this super tanker resulted in all the crude oil and fuel it carried spilling into the sea. As a result, more than 320 kilometers of the French coastline was polluted by oil one month after the incident. Furthermore, waters up to 19 kilometers from the coast were covered in oil. The environmental disaster was unavoidable due to the pollution of waters in Brittany. Millions of mollusks, small marine animals, and sea urchins died, and their carcasses were washed ashore. Over 20,000 diving birds that hunted fish by diving beneath the water's surface could not be saved. 9,000 tons of clams also accumulated. The captured fish had an oily taste. This was in addition to the pollution of the surrounding areas. The oil layer penetrated sandy areas around the shipwreck to a depth of up to 20 inches or about 60 centimeters. The environmental damage was immense in the case of the sinking of the Amoco Cadiz. History records the Amoco Cadiz disaster as the largest oil spill in history up to that point. The French government filed a claim against the tanker's owners for damages of $250 million at that time's value. The court eventually ruled for Amoco Corporation to pay $120 million in compensation in 1990, 12 years after the disaster occurred. Persian Gulf War In 1991, the world witnessed the largest oil spill tragedy in history due to the Gulf War between Iraq and Kuwait. This oil spill was caused by Iraqi forces deliberately opening the oil wells in Kuwait and setting them on fire to obstruct the coalition forces led by the United States. This action is one of the largest environmental crimes ever committed by humans. The oil spill reached 350 to 540 million gallons of crude oil, polluting the Persian Gulf. This spill had adverse effects on the environment, economy, and public health in the region. It also threatened the lives of thousands of marine species and birds. To this day, recovery from this oil spill is still ongoing. One of the recovery efforts involved using bacteria to break down oil into harmless compounds. This bacterium, named Bacillus persicus, was discovered by Indonesian scientist Ananda Chandra, working at Gajah Mada University. 
Bacillus persicus has successfully reduced oil pollution levels in the Persian Gulf. However, there are still many challenges to restoring the Persian Gulf's condition to its former state. Deepwater Horizon On April 20, 2010, the Deepwater Horizon oil drilling rig operated by BP exploded in the Gulf of Mexico, approximately 80 kilometers off the coast of Louisiana. This explosion claimed the lives of 11 workers and led to an oil leak that lasted for 87 days. It became the largest offshore oil spill in U.S. history. An estimated 4.9 million barrels, or about 206 million gallons, of crude oil flowed into the Gulf of Mexico before the well was finally sealed on July 15, 2010. This spill had devastating effects on the ecosystem, economy, and public health in the Gulf of Mexico region. It also threatened the lives of thousands of marine species, birds, and mammals. Oil spill response efforts involved various methods, including burning, absorption, barriers, chemical dispersants, and containment wells. However, there are still many challenges to be faced in cleaning up and restoring the conditions in the Gulf of Mexico. BP is estimated to have spent over $60 billion in legal costs, compensation, and fines as a result of this oil spill. Ixtoc 1 on June 3, 1979, the Ixtoc on oil drilling platform operated by Pemex, the state-owned oil company of Mexico, exploded in the Campeche Bay, approximately 80 kilometers off the coast of Mexico. The explosion was caused by the failure of drilling mud to control excessive oil and gas pressure. As a result, the oil well could not be controlled, and crude oil continued to spill into the sea. The oil spill lasted for nine months before the well was finally capped on March 23, 1980. It is estimated that around 3.3 million barrels, or approximately 140 million gallons, of crude oil spilled into the Gulf of Mexico. This spill was the largest offshore oil spill in the world at that time. It had severe environmental, economic and health impacts on the Gulf of Mexico region threatening the lives of thousands of marine species and birds. However, there are still many challenges to be faced in cleaning up and restoring the conditions in the Gulf of Mexico. Pemex is estimated to have spent over $100 million in legal costs, compensation and fines as a result of this oil spill. Atlantic Empress the Atlantic Empress was a Greek oil tanker that collided with another oil tanker, the Aegean Captain, in the Caribbean Sea on July 19, 1979. The collision resulted in a massive fire and an oil spill that killed 27 people and released approximately 287,000 metric tons of crude oil into the sea. It was the largest ship-based oil spill in history and the fifth largest oil spill overall. The Atlantic Empress was built in Denmark in 1974 and owned by a Greek shipping company. It was carrying light crude oil from Saudi Arabia to Texas when it collided with the Aegean Captain, which was sailing from Aruba to Singapore. The collision occurred in heavy rain and thick fog, and both ships immediately caught fire. The crews abandoned their vessels and were rescued by nearby ships. The fire on the Aegean captain was eventually brought under control the following day, and the ship was towed to Curacao, where its cargo was unloaded. However, the Atlantic Empress continued to burn and leak oil for over a week, while being towed further out to sea by a salvage vessel. On July 24th, a massive explosion damaged the ship and increased the oil flow. On August 2nd, the ship sank approximately 300 nautical miles from the coast, carrying its remaining cargo. The oil spill from the Atlantic Empress affected the marine ecosystem, economy and the health of the population in the Caribbean region. However, no impact studies were conducted, so the extent of the damage is unknown. Some dispersants were used to mitigate the oil spill but their effectiveness and environmental impact were unclear. 
This incident is one of the worst environmental crimes ever committed by humans. Exxon Valdez On March 24, 1989, the world was shocked by one of the largest environmental disasters in history. An oil tanker named the Exxon Valdez ran aground on a reef in Prince William Sound, off the southern coast of Alaska, and spilled approximately 42 million litres of crude oil into the sea. This oil spill caused extensive damage to the ecosystem and had severe effects on wildlife and human life. The Exxon Valdez oil spill was caused by the ship's captain, Joseph Hazelwood, who was found to be intoxicated while operating the vessel. He left the helm and handed control to an inexperienced third officer. The ship then deviated from its safe navigation path and struck Bly Reef, a well-known navigational hazard. As a result, the ship's hull ruptured and crude oil mixed with seawater. The impact of the Exxon Valdez oil spill was severe and long-lasting. The spilled crude oil contaminated approximately 1,990 kilometers of coastline and formed a thin surface layer on the sea called a slick. This oil interfered with the thermal, respiratory and digestive functions of marine animals. Hundreds of thousands of animals died due to oil contamination including sea otters, seals, seabirds, salmon, and killer whales. Additionally, the oil damaged the natural habitats of these animals, such as kelp forests, coral reefs, and bays. Not only did wildlife suffer, but humans were also affected by the Exxon Valdez oil spill. Indigenous Alaskan communities that relied on marine resources for their livelihoods experienced economic and social losses. The fishing and tourism industries in the region also saw decreased income and reputation. Moreover, many workers involved in oil spill cleanup experienced health problems due to exposure to hazardous chemicals. Culver River In 1983, the world was shocked by one of the largest environmental disasters ever to occur in Russia. A poorly maintained oil pipeline in the Arctic region of Russia ruptured and spilled approximately 318 million litres of oil into the Kolva River. This oil spill contaminated about 186 square kilometres of tundra and wetlands, threatening the lives of wildlife and humans in the surrounding area. The Kolva River oil spill was caused by a leak in a poorly maintained oil pipeline in the Arctic region of Russia. The pipeline had been leaking for eight months before it eventually burst and released about 318 million litres of oil into the Kolva River. The oil contaminated approximately 186 square kilometres of tundra and wetlands, posing a threat to wildlife and human inhabitants. The environmental impact of this oil spill was severe and long-lasting. The oil damaged the river's ecosystem, disrupted hydrological cycles, altered microclimates, and caused soil erosion. Furthermore, the spill killed or injured many animals, including fish, birds, polar deer, polar bears, polar foxes, and seals. The social and economic impacts of the oil spill were also significant. It posed a threat to the health and safety of local communities, especially the Nenets people who depended on natural resources for their survival. The spill also harmed the fishing, agriculture, tourism and transportation industries in the region.